Before you watch this episode, I would like to first apologize for all the swearing on our last episode. I'm not really a person who swears a lot, but after that video you might think I am. I don't know what it was, I think maybe, I don't know, being in such a dirty boat, my mouth got dirty. <laughs> But yeah, I would like to apologize because there were a few comments about it and yeah, I'm not really that person. But anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. And second, I would like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and is watching. We've got a lot of new subscribers and uh, a lot of views on the recent videos about this new project. So we're very excited about it. I guess you are as well. Looking forward to see what's coming and what's going to happen with this boat. Yeah, so thank you for watching and thank you for commenting as well. We've got loads of fun just answering comments. We always try to answer all the comments. And we're looking forward to share this adventure with you. We finally sold Waste Goose. So we've got a big empty space here now. And we are living in Seabird already. Enjoy the episode. <laughs> Morning. It's pretty early still. I'm just gonna jet wash this boat before it gets too hot. Mainly because I, I've never owned my very own jet wash. So I'm gonna have a go at it now. Yeah, so I've gotta get all this uh, stuff off. Um, yeah, give it a quick sweep and then take it from there. So I've got a handy dustpan and brush. As so we could get jet washing. I don't even know what's under half of this wreck. You know, good find treasure. Ooh, yeah. All right, basically done half, nearly. I haven't done the cockpit yet. I say crocs are on, you know we mean business. I just got up and Stuart has been doing the deck with the pressure washer and it's pretty amazing how, how much better it is. I'm so happy with it. It already looks like a different boat, well half of it. <laughs> left the boom up so we can uh, wash that as well. I don't have all the fun so Marina's got to have a go now. I've done my half. Eee. Yeah, I was maybe a little too scared to go all the way to the front of the boat. But Marina's doing it. She's so brave. Yeah, it seems alright that little machine so far. Yeah. Bird on me. I don't think I can see that. That's good luck. Well, we'll see. We finished, but uh, as soon as I finished, I just went to the beach because I was too hot. But I'm gonna show you how pretty it looks. <laughs> it's such a difference. We're a bit overwhelmed by it all, so we needed a bit of uh, boost. <laughs> and we thought cleaning the boat and seeing the big difference it makes already, it will keep us motivated. There's obviously many things that have come up once cleaned that we'll have to do on the deck, but so pretty. And it looks so much bigger now that it's clean. Well, I say it's clean. 
he's not amazingly clean, but he's way cleaner than he was. At some point, one day, we'll sand it and paint it and make it look good again. So we are super happy with the look of it now. It gave us motivation to keep working on it. So I'm just uh, making myself a cup of tea, just got up and Stuart got up really early this morning he's just going to pick up a van that we've hired because we're going to be moving our stuff into a storage unit. We need to empty waste just to sell it and we can't work on the new boat if we've got all this stuff in there. It's too much and it's too much work that we need to do as well in there so Yep, that's the mission for today. Stuart has just called and said that we can't get the van because when he went to pay for the deposit with the card, uh, he didn't accept it. The thing is we got these bank cards uh, very easily when we got to France, but they're obviously not great. They've got a limit and yeah, not possible. So we're not doing a van trip today and I don't know how we're going to do it because we've got loads of stuff and no van and I don't know if we'll be able to hire a van at all. So I don't know, we'll have to figure something out. Okay, van mission take number two. <laughs> Yesterday was an our day. Nothing worked for us. Hopefully today it will work. Magic what? Magic fingers day, Stuart says. Stuart found this app yesterday called We Car, and it's just people who put their cars on this app for to be like to be rented. We found this little van which is a bit smaller than the one we were going to get from the other place. Ooh. It is easier to use this app, they don't ask so much money for the deposit and with our limits in our cards it worked out better. A bit more expensive but not too bad. So let's hope it works. We're going to see if we can meet the guy to get the van. The man with the bat. Stuart indicating very well. I think we've already said, but we're so happy with the bikes. It's like when you, I don't know, leave your parents' house, you're independent, you feel empowered. <laughs> oh, he's gave us so much freedom. In this heat, it's easier to cycle than walk. <laughs> a famous van. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> well, it's, it's not the caddy. <laughs> it's really not the caddy. You can tell it's a work van, but that's all we need. Our bikes are behind. And we're gonna load it up. I told Stuart when I saw the pictures of the van, we're gonna have to do two trips. And it was like, no, we can squish it all in. But what do you reckon now? I think the engine light's on and the handbrake light's on and the handbrake's not on, so. <laughs> it's all right, it will do. But yeah, we're gonna have to do two trips. Uh, we'll see what we can squeeze in. There you go, that's the first load. Don't know if I'm totally happy about that anchor there. I'll just take it out and put it at the bottom. On the next one? Yeah, it's only the soft stuff next, isn't it? We've got... All these cushions for the next trip. This all from... Oui. This all from Seabird. So, that's the next trip. Two trips it is. Yeah, small van. All right, let's get it done. Let's go.
That's it. This is all our lives in a container. It's mainly the cushions actually. It's just half of it is our stuff and the other half is like boat stuff and all the cushions, anchors. So that's it for the next few months. We're gonna be working on the boat and all our stuff are gonna be here. We are obviously on the second floor because it was cheaper. <laughs> so we had to walk it all up the stairs. Where's Keith? Ooh, foolish guy. There's an incredible sunset out there. I just was like, Whoa! So excited. <laughs> I got these on the internet, but maybe we should have got these uh, before we got the boat. Yeah, can I use that? It's a um, moisture meter, so we're gonna check out the whole. No, no, that's not the one. I don't know this one. We're gonna check out the. Um, Uh, no, let me do it before you hurt yourself. <laughs> I don't like this, I prefer the leather man. Apparently I'm not allowed to use a knife. Oh well, yeah, we see that. Oh stabby stabby. <laughs> okay. So we watched a video and uh, apparently they measure conductivity. So if there is water, obviously water is uh, conductive. Is that a right word? Yeah, maybe. So it will beep. But then talking with uh, Kieran, a friend of ours, the other day, he was like, well, they're useless. Because obviously they don't work in plastic. But I don't know, we're gonna give it a go anyway. It wasn't expensive and... Um, I know, could be fun, interesting. Okay. Okay. Put on yourself? No, it's this bit. No. 100%! Okay. The keel, let's go to the keel. That would be interesting to see. These bits. Oh, it's a bit, it marks a bit more, so. Ooh, 60. Try the. 75% but it's got metal in it. Yeah. Skegs, 50, 40. There must be some metal in there somewhere. 13, 12. I think the keel's lead with, uh, that's thrown into concrete. So the lead shouldn't rust. So unless we just grind out some holes. See what happens. What else? <laughs> oh, it's so pretty compared to how it was. Two. Three. Don't know. I don't know. Yes. Oh! Maybe. Oh yeah, so on the holes, when there's a, been a hole, yeah, so it those marks. Are, that's where we need to start by drilling these Look, holes. this one. Whoa, and now there? Yeah, it's a big difference. I don't know if this machine is uh, <laughs> giving us any clues, really. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna have to redo all the stanchions. What did you say? Just doing one at a time. Yeah, the stanchions aren't too bad. You just unscrew them, cut them out, fiberglass for it. You redo the core a little bit with whatever you can find. Look at it, it's the only core. Did you try here? In this big. Uh... Ooh. Never even noticed that big one before. <laughs> There's many. Alright, so it's, it's pretty wet around here. Yeah. Wow, look at these cracks, there's so many of them. Yeah, that's alright. Just stress cracks. I'm sure if we just grind a V into them, and uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Just grind a V, put resin in, and then primer and a bit of paint. Yeah, if there's any Golf Star owners out there that can give us a clue of uh, what's in the keel and the rudder, which metal. It'll be interesting to know. We're gonna have to probably make a few holes and have a look, but let us know. <laughs> any advice is uh, welcome on any on anything really. <laughs> <sighs>